Hi guys, welcome to the fifth episode of my series on how to pass the PCEP test. In this video, I'll be teaching you the second half of the second part of the PCEP test. Let's get started. So the topics we're covering today are input, print, integer, float, string, and length functions, and also printing with end and sep arguments. Let's start with the input and print. You should already know this. Input is basically you're asking an input from the user who's using the program and printing is displaying anything inside it. So now we'll use, let's use the int, float, and string. So what these are used for is to change the type of data that's inside as long as it's compatible. So of course you can change an integer one into a string, but you can't change burger into an integer because it's not a number. So let's say max equals input then uh what number do you want to add and then max to input what is what second number do you want to add right and now we just print max plus max two that's it. Very easy. When you run this program, what number do you want to add? It's asking an input from us. Let's say 10 and then 2. But it displays 102. All right. So this is the print function here. It displayed what's inside of the print function. But why does it say 102? Well, if you watch the previous videos, you know that when we add two strings together, they just add them up like that. Boom. So let's say I love burgers, so I love and burgers just adds up and just add up burgers, right? But if we have strings that contain numbers, 10 and 2, then it just adds them up and it's 102, all right? So what you have to do is make them into integers, so 10 and 2 become into one object is 12. How you do this is you change the data type by using these functions. So let's put as an integer input can put the int before the input int and then another parenthesis again and then int and then another parenthesis so this will make whatever is inside the input an integer all right let's do the same thing again what number you want to add let's say 10 the second number is 2 and now it's 12 so now it works and let's say if you want decimals so we can make it into floats float and then float. All right. Now, I'm going to add, let's say 10, 1.2, and works 11.2. Okay. Okay. Now, let's make a number into a float. Let's say max equals 1, max 2 equals burger, then print, max a print, then print max plus max 2. Wait, I forgot to make a string. Never forget your quotes. And then when you run this, let's say unsupported operand types plus int and string. So we have to make the number into a string. What we can do is we can put str in max like that. So it will make anything inside the string function into a string. So now one will become a string and we can add it. So one burger right there. And then what length does here, last one, very simple. So let's just put max 2. Let's remove everything else. So this should be 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 characters long. How we check this is len and then max 2. It should say how many characters there are or how long it is. That's it, very simple. And now let's use the now. Let's cover the end and sep arguments. So let's say print i and then we put love burgers. All right. And then when you run this, it will say I love burgers in different lines. But what if we want to put them together? Well, we can use the end argument. So the comma and 
and then what if we had one space so we put a space there let's just copy this and all of them and then when you run this it connects all of them and has a space i space love space burgers there should be another space here also yes you see that another space what the end argument does is it connects the next string into the first string with whatever is inside so you put space so it takes space but we can put anything you want we can put dashes we also put slashes or any character you want ah wait oops Ins ah there you run this i dash love slash burgers a that's like we did and we can also do this i love burgers what this will do is it'll just say i love burgers with spaces right but what if you want to change what's in between them well you can use the sep argument so sep let's say we want to put one two three in there it'll put i one two three love one two three burgers it separates it with whatever you put inside the sep argument so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay curious.